Crown's long history of networked amplifiers all talk to each other, leverage that technology, down market into our XTI, CDI, DSI series with USB. Now the new USB X interface that we have takes our USB capable amplifiers and effectively this box translates. It takes USB in and it spits Ethernet out. For, so any of our amplifiers that talk USB, it translates that to Ethernet. And then that's accessible via gigabit Ethernet on the bottom. So you can or, put it on a network. Oh, yes. Or wireless, there's a built-in wireless access point. So this iPad is talking wirelessly to that USB-X. And the same app that we have for our Ethernet apps, right, like for an iTech HD, um, which isn't actually here, but you can see the functionality you've had for an iTech HD and networked, ready to go, you now have for uh, our XTI, CDI, DSI series is what you do. Right. So the, the two big takeaways are for if you're a tour sound guy, you're regional, you've got a rack of XTIs doing monitors, plug that thing in, wirelessly you're watching meters. You've got an, your other primary application, you're doing a distributed install, a church, a couple CDIs here and there, mm -hmm. four here, three there, two there. You put one of those with and, that group, and, now and you can talk to them wirelessly, point. or you talk to them for one point, put on your uh, existing Ethernet backbone. So that is USB-X. How expensive? Uh, we're looking at about March, and we're looking at about $150, $200. That's not bad at all. No, not that's, at all. That's completely for, for what that reasonable. Gains you, Absolutely. Yeah. That's a no-brainer. Yeah. So it's a pretty cool little buy. And it's funny. It's something small. You don't really think about it. But what we can leverage that to do with our existing products is it really opens up. And now you do. And it'll still hop on with Band Manager and all that existing stuff. So okay. there's a lot of potential applications for it. Excellent.